welcome back friends of Frisbee and fine folks watching at home to this, the second day of the New Zealand Secondary School's Ultimate Championships. My name is Blair Munro. I'll be here to talk you through our matches today. We have starting up Hutt Valley High School, who you can uh, see uh, on your screens shortly, facing off against Birkenhead College from Auckland. So from opposite ends of the North Island of New Zealand, we're going to see two great teams in our women's division clashing uh, for their shot at glory today. So you can see Hutt Valley uh, on screen now, getting a, a nice energetic warm-up, making sure the energy stays high for this uh, first match of the day. Now, a quick, a quick recap of the rules for those of you who are just joining us. Our matches for this tournament are 50 minutes long or until one team scores 15 points. When the first team uh, to score eight points does so, they'll have a short halftime break uh, before coming back onto the field. If we hit that 50-minute cap and there's no result, we'll create a new points cap by uh, concluding the points being played, adding one to the highest score, and then both teams will race to that number. A reminder that Ultimate is a non-contact, self-officiated sport. Players have taken it upon themselves to learn the rules and make any calls and resolve any conflicts uh, by discussing them as they arise on the field. It's a wonderful uh, component of the sport that allows uh, particularly youth players, like those competing in today's tournament, to develop communication skills and able to uh, work with each other uh, very, very carefully and respectfully uh, during play. And Hutt Valley preparing to shake, shake, shake up Birkenhead College. We are here at beautiful Crown Park in Topo in the central North Island. Conditions are very, very nice. It's quite a warm, quite a warm day. Uh, as some players in the community are known for saying, ultimate frisbee is a little bit like home cooking. It's always best when it's warm. Conditions are very, very calm. There's not a lot of wind. Uh, we will keep you updated on the wind conditions. But with little wind today during the upcoming matches, We'll hopefully see some very, very good options uh, throwing long to open receivers, maybe taking a little bit of creative risk with some of the disc movement as the lack of interference from the wind can really liberate more confident disc throwers into, into creating opportunities for the team to score. So there is our hooter to start the 50-minute countdown. Teams will take the field just shortly. We're playing five a side here at the Secondary School's Ultimate Championships on a slightly smaller field. Birkenhead College responding with a chant of their own, making sure that both teams are coming onto the field with a great energy, a great enthusiasm for the sport of ultimate that so many fans have come to love.
Looks like Birkenhead will start off on defence. The signal for readiness. A nice forehand pull. Disc touching down about halfway. We're going to see Hutt Valley come out on offence. Some great initial movement of the disc. Large fakes trying to shift the defence. Working the far sideline now. Great defensive pressure. It looks like Birkenhead have set up a zone. A great long shot going over the top of the defence. Hutt Valley in a great opportunity to score the first point of the game. A little miscommunication between the receiver and the, and the thrower there, giving Birkenhead an opportunity to have, have created a turn for themselves and now potentially score. So again, nice disc movement. A little bit of a bobble. Hutt Valley now with a response. Gregory to handle center field. A nice forehand with a bit of edge. Great reception by Bowen. Right on the doorstep of the first score of the game. A great around throw. Only inches away from a point. Straight through the Birkenhead defense. Beautiful execution there. Isabel Elliott with the first score of the game, putting Hutt Valley High School on the board. Fantastic performance by these ladies. We'll see that one again. Great fakes. Shifting the zone, creating a nice window through. And just a great running on catch for a beautiful first point of the game. In, in the sport of ultimate, wind can have a significant effect when it's present. And so integrated into the rules is the idea of swapping ends after each point. So that if, if one team advantages or is advantaged by the wind, they won't be advantaged on the subsequent point. So we've seen Hutt Valley High School take the first point. They'll now come down on defense from the other end uh, from which they started. And we see the signal for readiness given. Some last-minute coaching from the Birkenhead leadership. The signal is given a great pull, low and flat. Right close to the sideline. A great opportunity for Hutt Valley High School now. It looks like they're going to set up a zone of their own. Great foot flashes. Huge amount of pressure on their defense. But Birkenhead are able to work through it. Nice disc movement. Just a little bit on the high side. But we've seen Birkenhead put on great defensive pressure when they've played a zone. Looks like they'll be switching to more of a person defense here. Looking to isolate uh, individual matchups. Great movement by Hutt Valley High School. Eva Langridge getting great separation there to try and recenter the disc. Birkenhead's defensive pressure generating a turn. A nice little needle threading pass, but it came out a bit low. Hutt Valley now with an opportunity. Language to pick up and initiate the offense. A big forehand. A little bit much edge. Perhaps a bit of miscommunication there on the read. Giving Birkenhead another opportunity to work back up the field and put themselves on the board. A great forehand targeting the near sideline now. Guevara Benet. Good territorial option there. Forcing Birkenhead, uh, forcing Hunt Valley rather to work that much further up the field. A lot of pressure, defensive pressure rather, looking to try and isolate isolate the disc and seal off those passing options. But Langridge's movement doing a great job. A big hut goes up. Guevara Benet under great, great positioning, but not quite enough to get there. Good defense from Hutt Valley, giving them another opportunity close to the sideline. The near sideline. A nice forehand. Just a little bit underthrown there.
Langridge to take the score. Great leap there going up over the top of the Birkenhead defense to pull that one through. Hutt Valley High School up by two. 2-0 over Birkenhead at the moment. So again, with the, with the conditions as still as they are, we're seeing some great long looks from both sides. Now in Birkenhead's game against Lytton that we saw yesterday, we saw that they made really, really great success out of small controlled passes to chip away at the defense and slowly work their way up the field. So as they come down on offense now, are we going to see that same kind of offensive consistency that allows them to work territorially up the field and put them in great position for a score? Great pull by Mather. Fielded by Birkenhead. Excellent reset. Shifting the mark, trying to just keep that stall count low. So much in the same as as in sports like basketball, uh, the person in possession of the disc is unable to move with it. Uh, they have to uh, release the disc within a, a specified amount of time. In this case, we're playing to a stall count of 10. Great movement by Hutt Valley up that near sideline. A great continuation and kept. Just a little bit of pressure uh, from that defense. Bit out of position on the catch. Birkenhead with a great opportunity to work back upfield. And so as that, as that stall count ticks up, the count rises. It's very, very important to be able to have a player get into position to receive the disc so that that stall count is reset. So Mather is to pick up the disc here, looking to initiate that offense. Waiting for a window. Doesn't find one, looks to reset instead. Sundar swinging around for a great third score by Espartero for Hutt Valley High School. And they go 3-0 over Birkenhead in the first match of the second day of our New Zealand Secondary School Ultimate Championships held in beautiful Crown Park in Topol. As we end the 10th minute of the game, Hunt Valley High School to come down on defense again. Some great disc work. Some players really making use of space, making use of their athleticism to create openings for their offense. Good reset, good disc movement by Birkenhead. Nice high forehand. Great reception. About 10 meters away from their end zone. Just a little bit much pressure there. Quite, quite a narrow throwing window to make when they're playing very, very close quarters ultimate. Guevara Benet manages to reset, gain a few yards. Mather with a big put. Nice amount of edge. Perfect reception there by Bowen. We'll see that again. A beautiful backhand to a wide open receiver in that end zone. Zara Bowen with a great score there. Taking the points total to four for Hutt Valley High School over Birkenhead Zero. But we have seen great things from Birkenhead, great athleticism 
great effort, great determination in their game so far. They just need to remind themselves that they are capable of wonderful things, particularly on the ultimate field. They can dig deep. They can push. They can make sure that they, they leave this field feeling proud regardless of what the final score ends up. It is still anyone's game. A nice pull with a great opportunity for Hutt Valley High School to pour on some pressure. A little bit overthrown. Language to pick up, bring into the sideline, the far sideline now. Great option taking there by Hutt Valley High School. Patience, applying that pressure. Good ultimate starts with a good pull. Being backed into your own end zone like that for the first pass of the game of the point can be very, very intimidating. Uh, and you can apply a lot of pressure there defensively to uh, pe people don't want to throw a pass that can be intercepted for a score. And so there's a lot of pressure there to move the disc out of the end zone. Uh, and in this instance, the pressure applied by Hutt Valley High School was enough to generate that turnover. And then they made that mental switch from defense back to offense and calmly picked the right option there for a great score going up by one again. Grant with the pull. Touches down just outside of bounds. Looks like Birkenhead will take it in from the sideline. Great centering of the disc there by Birkenhead. A lot of defensive pressure from Grant. Generating that turnover. Nice leading pass into space. Nice backhands, continuation of throws along that far sideline. A little bit too much momentum. And the, thro the throw goes a bit long. Birkenhead now a long field ahead of them to work up, but we've seen them capable of doing it. They can make those consistent resets. Great run through D there by Grant. Very close to the end zone. Hutt Valley will be happy about this if they're able to consolidate this score. So a reminder that the playing the perimeter lines on an, on an ultimate field are not considered part of the playing area. As Guevara Benet's first point of contact was on the line between those two cones marking our end zone. And we'll see that again. So that would be out of bounds and therefore generating a turnover. So Birkenhead in a very tight corner. So it looks to have been a stall out. So again, we, we mentioned before the, the concept of a stall out, kind of like a shot clock uh, for basketball. As we hit the first syllable of the T, the T in 10, uh, that constitutes a turnover. And Hutt Valley able to finish that one off. Dungey for a great score. As Hutt Valley High School go up six points against Birkenhead Zero. There must be something in the water in Hutt Valley 
We saw a great performance from the Hutt Valley boys yesterday as they faced off against Shirley boys. Some great zone offense as Shirley boys opted against the conventional person matchup and instead looked to occupy space. But the disc skills that were on display by Hutt Valley and are on display by Hutt Valley again now are a result of great hard work and effort and teamwork developed by these young players. Now Birkenhead doing great work making passes up the far sideline. An unfortunate turn giving Hutt Valley the opportunity. Nice flat forehand. Far sideline. 20 metres out from the end zone. Great busy arms by the Birkenhead defence, trying to put a pressure on. A lot of edge on that forehand. Great bid by Birkenhead defence, not quite enough. And a quick backhand to finish that point off. Nakazono for a great score as Hutt Valley go 7-0 against Birkenhead. One point away from taking the first half. Hutt Valley again to come down on defense. A great pull. A lot of float. Very close to the near, near sideline. With a big chase to start applying that pressure early. Taking away Birkenhead's options. A mighty hand block from Gregory. Audible. The kind of thing that will echo throughout the ages. And a great one-pass offense to close out and take the first half for Hutt Valley High School. Zara Bowen again open in the end zone for a great reception. So that is the first half of our first match of the second day of the New Zealand Secondary School Ultimate Championships. My name is Blair Munro, and I'm here with Sky Sport Next and the Stream Shop, and we will see you again shortly.
You heard it here first from Hutt Valley High School. Chili O, Psycho D, every disc belongs to me. My name is Blair Munro. We're back for the second half of the first match of our New Zealand Secondary School's Ultimate Championships in beautiful, sunny Crown Park in Topor. Hutt Valley High School currently eight points up over Birkenhead as we enter the second half, but it is still anybody's game. The gods of ultimate can be fickle indeed. But we have seen a very, very strong performance from Hutt Valley High School today, uh, this morning. And some great, great offensive momentum from Birkenhead. Just not able to close out and secure any points in the face of the Hutt Valley High defense. We have about 26 minutes left on our clock. The game is currently a race to 15. Hutt Valley High to come out on defense. Birkenhead looking to recenter the disc. Hutt Valley High having come down in a zone defense. One player staying and chasing the disc, and other players dropping back to take away space, preventing in cuts that allow the Birkenhead players to reset the disc and keep that stall count low. And that is exactly what you expect a zone to do, to force a long throw to go over the top of the zone. But a turn was generated again. Birkenhead now. Sundar with a great point block. Just a little bit on the high side for Nakazono to, to pull that one down. So Birkenhead in the near sideline in their own defensive corner. Hutt Valley playing that same zone. So we're seeing players looking to use their body to cut off the kind of, of lines that the Birkenhead offense are going to be using to get the disc. Again, great high shot there. Hutt Valley able to connect and close that one out. Nakazono with the score as Hutt Valley High School take the first point of the second half of the game. Okay. <laughs> Langridge, Nakazono, targeting that far sideline. Great, comfortable backhands. It's been a relatively clean game as well, which is always nice to see, particularly at the youth level. Not a lot of calls being made, so there's no real opportunity to develop those communication skills and, and have those discussions, but it speaks to the level of respect that the players have for themselves and for their opposition, that they're not taking unnecessary risks and not creating any contact, considering that Ultimate is a non-contact sport. There are quite a few non-contact sports that do... Uh, tend to have a lot of incidental contact just from the, the intensity that can be brought. But it's really, really nice to see these young sides uh, playing a very, very clean game and, and generating that same level of intensity but without introducing any physicality as a consequence. Now with a nice pull as Birkenhead start to set up their offense. A nice, comfortable gain. Working around... The Hutt Valley defense. Nice edge to that disc. And again, for a great reception. Patience. And Birkenhead get on the board. A great first point for them in the second half. Just a nice string of uninterrupted passes. Great disc movement to open players. Despite the defensive pressure we've seen from Hutt Valley High School, it wasn't enough to get them a shutout. And so just a great score from Birkenhead there. 
We go 9-1. Look at the smiles on those faces. You could not be prouder to put up, a po to put up points against a team as fierce as Hutt Valley High School women's team. Birkin had to play defense. The pull going just out of bounds, but it sets up on the sideline. Great shot. Langridge in good position to read that disc with a bit of edge, but not able to secure it. Birkenhead with a great chance now. A long shot, good territorial options. And we're seeing Birkenhead set up a zone as well. One player on the chase. Hard Valley High putting three people back into that handler space to try and give themselves more option. A long shot goes up, but the pressure from Birkenhead is enough to generate that turnover. Some great work by the Birkenhead defense. Nice swing to the far sideline. Langridge with a good read on the block. And another backhand into the zone for a great score for Hutt Valley High School. The score now 10-1. Guevara Benet with the score there. Some really, really great disc movement from Hutt Valley High School. We've seen a few times as they've worked the disc up the far sideline and used some consistent backhand throws to just work 5, 10, 15 meters at a time and just build up mo enough momentum to work past the Birkenhead defense. Really, really great ultimate on display here from both sides. Language to pull as Hutt Valley High come back out on defense. Great length on the pull, fielded by Birkenhead. Recenter with a nice gain. Great resets to work around the zone. A high forehand. Kept alive by Birkenhead. It's what we love to see despite the crowd of people forming underneath the disc. A great run through interception by Grant for Hutt Valley. Forced to drop back to Langridge who puts up a big forehand huck. Incredibly well read by Espatero. Great score for Hutt Valley High School. Applying a lot of defensive pressure, and despite the pressure applied by Birkenhead in response, they're able to drop the disc back, create a great position to push forward and score off a long option. And those are the kind of options that you expect to see when conditions are this optimal. There's very, very little wind, if any. And so throwing in this, It just, it just looks fantastic to see. So 11-1 now, Hutt Valley High School to come back out on defense. Great pull as Birkenhead look to initiate their offense. Excellent work by Grant to seal off that first throw. A huge pressure from the sideline, often acting as an additional defense, a defender rather.
Great security from Hutt Valley High School, keeping position. Despite a lot of pressure that we're seeing from Birkenhead. Big arms trying to shut down those throwing options. It's enough to generate a turnover. Now, as we said previously, there are two ways to stop a throw. You can stop it at, at the point of throw where the handler has the disc, or you can stop it at the receiver. Quite often, and we'll see, we've seen that with a lot of the zone defense that we're seeing today. Great movement up the field by Birkenhead. A great continuation, yes, for a great score. It's exactly what Birkenhead were looking for. Apply the pressure, generating the turnover, and able to work, work their way up the field. When the defense is out of position, the defense cannot do its job. And so quite often when conditions are like this and you have those options to put long throws out ahead of a defense, particularly when they're playing that zone base. What a great grab there. So 11-2 now as Birkenhead come down on defense. Now, will they come down with a zone defense and look to shut off the throwing lanes that the handlers might use to advance the disc up the field? Or will they stick to a person defense and use their fitness and athleticism and their determination to cover the individual Hutt Valley players? So we're seeing a zone again. One player chasing the disc around. Very, very close grab there. As Hutt Valley are forced to work up the field, that's exactly what a zone is trying to do. It's trying to force those longer options. And maybe pressure the offense. A big forehand. A little bit of fade gets carried outside of the field. Nice reset, centering the disc to Grant. Zara Bowen. Great position, center field, just working with Grant. And Claridge to work up the field. Great option there. A cut was developing across the offensive end zone. Great movement. The disc and just a little off-center for that score. Birkenhead in a good offensive position. A good swing option there, but blocked by Sundar. Hutt Valley High on the doorstep of their 12th point of the game. Zara Bowen to field the disc, center field. Finds Grant as they push towards the far sideline. A great slash cut across the front. Works around the defense as Espartero gets us another point on the board for Hutt Valley High School. We have 13 minutes left on the clock. So there's the signal for readiness from Hutt Valley High School. As they come out on defense, Zara Bowen, a nice long pull fielded by Birkenhead. Great opportunity to work the disc up a few passes at a time. We're seeing Hutt Valley stick to a more traditional 
Person defense. Birkenhead able to work up past the halfway line. Great reception. And a second continuation. Just a little bit much pressure there. Generating a turn for Hart Valley High School. We're going to get to see that again. Just outside of the zone. And by the very fingertips, able to generate a turn and give Hutt Valley High an opportunity to work back upfield. Great defensive positioning there by Birkenhead to intercept a long option by Hutt Valley. Responding with a long of their own. Nice disc movement. Zara Bowen with a big forehand. Just out of the reach of the Birkenhead defense. Pulled down by Elliott. Great point by Hutt Valley, taking them to 13 over Birkenhead's two. Some really great, calm, end-zone offense on display by Hutt Valley. Very patient with the disc. Not allowing the closeness, the proximity of the end zone to dictate the pace of the game as, as quite a lot of players, even at a senior and club level, are, are prone to. Really, really fantastic approach to ultimate to see here. Which would not be possible without the wonderful temperaments on display from both of these sides. Bangridge, number 42 for Hutt Valley High School with the disc, giving the signal for readiness, preparing to pull. A lot of length on that. Just outside the end zone, Birkenhead able to work the disc up a couple of quick passes. Hutt Valley High again having brought down a zone defense. A big forehand. And Langridge again sitting in that deep space of that zone, just looking for those long options, knowing that she's got the foot speed to cover that space. Big backhand huck. Great read on that by the Birkenhead defense, able to make sure that disc doesn't find the hands of its intended receiver. Both sides have been playing a very, very hard game. Great fake there. Baiting a bid from the defense. Birkenhead working to the far sideline. Guevara Bernay in the right place at the right time. Claridge and Langridge working the disc together. A big forehand. Two receivers in hot pursuit. But the length on that throw just a little bit much. Birkenhead to initiate their offense. Mabel Williata starting that offense for the Birkenhead side. A little bit of edge on that. Turns over in a, in a gust. Langridge to take position, finds Claridge. And the two just working the disc up, not pressured by the Birkenhead defense. Great disc movement and a laser beam through for what looks to have been a score. So we're going to see that again. Good swing and a nice forehand. Flat and clean. Great separation from the defense. Fourteen two, 
Hutt Valley High School only one point away from taking this game. Birkenhead, a long crawl, but not an impossible one ahead of them. I've seen club matches that have had similar point barriers overcome. Uh, the historic AUC Flood versus Hamatron uh, match from a couple of years ago. But Flood are still riding high today. Great movement by Birkenhead. Nice high disc, a lot of float, plenty of time to get underneath it. And some boxing out by the defender. Generates a turn. Mather, unpressured by... A long shot up. Uliata targeting the far sideline. Great option, Jade taking. As Batero finds Mather centre field. Great defense there by Birkenhead, seeing the play develop, finding the place to be in to shut that down at the last moment. Some really good defense. A great tip by the defense to generate the turn back position, going back to Hutt Valley High School. A great long shot. Espartero cleaning up the tip disc. A little bit of miscommunication on that reset, giving Birkenhead an opportunity to work back upfield. Some great territory there as Mather picked up the disc for Hutt Valley High School to bring it back infield. Birkenhead to approach in a zone defense, which we've seen a lot of success with from them so far. They're forcing some of those longer options and relying on those deep players to get up over the Hutt Valley High team and put some pressure on. And again, we're seeing a turn generator. That's exactly what a zone defense is looking for. Mather with another opportunity. Espartero. Grant and Mather run with great separation. But it's Elliott in the zone who seals that last point for Hutt Valley High as they go to 15 points over Birkenhead's two. A great performance from both of these teams from opposite ends of the North Island, Te Ika a Maui or Aotearoa. Absolutely fantastic ultimate on display and great spirit all around as they finish up with a round of high fives and congratulations for both sides. All of the different plays and, and executions and, and option taking that was on display. Certainly worthy of celebration, regardless of the score. Well, that concludes the first game of the second day of our New Zealand Secondary Schools Ultimate Championships. My name is Blair Munro, here with Sky Sport Next and the Stream Shop. And we will be back with you shortly.